Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Tonight, we're live at the Talbot Brink with the Fishermen take on the Swampscott Big Blue. Tonight's KPN Live Game of the Week is brought to you by Mina Dental and Gloucester Auto Body. Also, Gloucester, uh, KPN Auto Body and Service and Keith Alves Contracting. Thank you very much. So tonight, the Fishermen are back in action here tonight. The Fishermen are on a three-game winning streak. I'm Phil Castro, Jim Capillo on the camera, and Gloucester here tonight at home, like I said, on a three-game winning streak. They started the season 0-3-2, and, and since then, they've won three straight, and they've, done, they've, they've been impressive doing it as well. And tonight's opponent, the Swamp's got Big Blue. They're in the Northeast Carpet South Division. And they're supposed to be a pretty good team. So I think the Fishermen might have their work cut out for them tonight. As we're winding down the uh, warm-up period, We'll have the introduction of the uh, starting lineups. Get the referees uh, with the captains at mid-ice. They're shaking hands. Both teams are, uh, are surrounding their goaltenders uh, at their own net. Last game lost to play was Monday night. Uh, a non-conference game against Wayland. The Fishman won six to four. The last game before that was against Winthrop. I did that game. Fishman won three to one. And that was their first conference game of the year. So Gloucester was one and zero oh in the Northeast Conference North Division. And overall, they're three three and two. And there's a starting lineup for Swamp's good. Number three. Connor Donovan. Number four, Drew Oliveri. Number five, Ronan Locke. Number 14, Tyler Seller. And number six, Chris Bonds. And now for the Gloucester Fisherman. Head coach Derek Geary. Jack Delaney. Jack Costanzo. E.J. Field, those are your three forwards right there on the first line. Ryan Frady's number 21. Having a strong season for the Fishermen. And Ryan Schuster, number four. And that's your starting line right there for the Fishermen. And in goal, number 30. The backbone of the Fishermen caught him a chance. And we we'll have our national anthem. And interesting story about who's singing the National Anthem right quick. He's a youth hockey player. He's 10 years old. He plays the National Anthem for every youth game.
That was uh, our national anthem. Uh, apparently, Jim, that kid's a goalie at KPA Youth Hockey. And he sings the national anthem before every game. And it went viral one night. It was all over the phone. I don't know if you saw it. But uh, that was wonderful. And we're almost ready for some hockey. So the Fisherman on a three game winning streak. We three and two, a victory tonight, get them over the 500 mark. And we're almost ready for some hockey. Costanzo, Field, Delaney. We're underway. Costanzo pucks in a neutral zone. Swamps could knocks it in. Frady's with it. Takes it behind the net. Passes it up to Delaney. Delaney trying to get it out. It's along the far boards. He does. But Swamps could has it. They throw it back in. And here comes Costanzo. Gains the blue line. Makes a move, but gets checked off the puck. And Swamps could comes out with it. Here comes the big blue. Costanzo for checking. Schuster with it. Takes it behind his own net. Gives it to Costanzo. Costanzo loses control. He throws it back in. Schuster's there. Over the field. Over to Delaney. Delaney pass to Costanzo. They throw it in. The fisherman change lines. Out front. Uh, field stays out there. He has the puck behind the net. Gets it out to Ashley. Ashley throws it in. Deflected wide. Behind the net. Again, it's out front. They can't get it. Here comes Swampskit. They throw it in deep. Ashley's there. Number 20. Jeremy Abreu takes it out. Here comes Abreu. The new forward. Shot blocked. Rebound. Shot goes wide. Bergen, Ryan Bergen, number nine. Throws it in there. Shot. Save. Swampska tries to get it out. Here comes the big blue. It's 2-1-2. Two two. In goal for Swampska, Jack Russo, number one. He's a freshman. And here come the fishermen. Bergen with the puck. Glossa has their third line out there. Morris, Bergen, and Zach Abbott. But that's an icing on Gloucester. So, Gloucester has one shot. Swampscott has none. 0-0 zero, zero here in the early going. Face off in the uh, Gloucester zone after the icing. Off the draw. And the fisherman try to get it out. Schuster does. O'Leary is out there, number 27. I hope his uncle is watching from Ireland. Frady's gets it out to the try, can't get it out. Swamp Squad keeps it in. They knock it back behind the Gloucester net. And the puck's up in the air. And the fishermen get it out. Here comes O'Leary, number 27. Throws it in. Save Russo. Out front. Rebound. Oh, we couldn't get a good, good wood on it. It's kept in by Maroney on a nice play. Fisherman. Changing up lines. And they keep it in. Costanzo with it. Shot. Goes wide. All the way to the other side. Maroney keeps it in. Swamp Scott gets it out. But it goes to Ashley. Ashley to Costanzo. Costanzo, he's got Delaney with him. Costanzo makes a move. Shot deflected wide. Field goes after it. And... 
Swampscott gets it out. Maroney over to Delaney. He's got Field. Field going in, trying to make a move. Takes it behind the net. Gets knocked off the puck. And the puck comes out the neutral zone. Ashley has it. Throws it back in deep. The fisherman had a touch up, and they do. Swampscott controls it. And here comes the big blue. They throw it in deep. That's an ice. They didn't gain the red line. So the faceoff will go back down to the Swampscott zone. I'm Phil Castro, Jim Capillo on the camera tonight. This is KPN Live, your station for high school sports in the KPN area. Abreu, number 16, was centering Bergen. And I can't see who that other kid is just yet. Derek Elms looks like shot. Save. Rebound. They can't get it. Schuster keeps it in. Abreu out front. And it comes back to Freddy's. Over to Elms. Elms, he's also a freshman. Stolen by Bergen. Trying to look for Abreu, but he can't find him. Elms keeps it in with a nice play. Shot. Goes wide. Schuster keeps it in. Behind the net. And good back checking by Glosser. It comes out of the zone, though. Freddy's has it over to Schuster. Schuster throws it in deep. It goes back in the Swamp Scott zone. And that number six looks like Harry, it's Harry Marshall. Okay. All right. Marshall back off a of suspension. The shot goes wide. Zach Abbott with a nice move. Abbott takes it up to the neutral zone. Offsides. Good call by the ref. And the ref takes a spill for making that call. <laughs> Face off of being in the neutral zone. Because the first line's out there. Costanzo Field, Delaney. Ashley and Freddy's on defense. Comes out to Freddy's over to Ashley. Ashley banks it up the boards, gives it to Field. Field takes it inside. Costanzo couldn't control it. Field fighting for it in the corner. Goes back inside. And here comes Swampskit. But no, Costanzo steals it. Oh, we can't control it. He steals it back. He has it again. Takes, gains the blue line again. Can't make the move. Fisherman trying to keep it in. They do. Delaney with a nice play between his legs. Swampscott has it. And Swampscott look at the breakout. And here come the big blue. They gain the blue line. Costanzo with it. Makes a nice pass to Delaney. Delaney gains the blue line. Finds Field. Field can't control it. Field. Takes it out. Costanzo with it. Out front. Shot. Oh, Field. Missed the open corner. Costanzo can't control it. And here comes Big Blue. But Costanzo were throwing his weight around. And Swampscott knocks it in deep. Schuster with it. So Harrison Marshall is back from the suspension that he took on Thanksgiving Day in football. So Marshall is out there right now. Abreu. Schuster. Swampscott has it. Save. Abreu with it. The big center. Throws it in deep. Abreu with it, steals it. And the net comes off, it's more rings, they get a whistle. So Harrison Marshall, number six, is back in the lineup for Gloucester. Uh, he was a defenseman. He looks like he's playing forward right now. He was ejected from the Thanksgiving Day football game. And what that means is the next sport you play, you have to serve a suspension. And he served a seven-game suspension. 
Third line out there for the Fisherman. Morris, O'Leary, O'Leary. Shot deflected wide. Zach Abbott out front to Morris. Back to Schuster at the point. Shot deflected over the net. Off the boards. Schuster with it. Shot deflected. Rebound saved by Russo. O'Leary with it. Morris over to Abbott. Abbott behind the net. Good zone time so far this period for the Fisherman. Swamps has control. They bank it off the boards. Schuster keeps it in. Down to O'Leary. O'Leary with it. Trying to get through. Goes behind the net. Zach Abbott goes after it. Number 11. Shot in. Save. Russo ties it up. 7.04 left first period. No score. Shots on goal, 4 0 Gloucester. It's good to see Harry Marshall back. Costanzo off the face off. Field steals it out front to Cost Number seven is out there for Gloucester. Delaney, Field, Costanzo takes a shot that goes wide, Maroney, he's not going to crack down, Delaney keeps it in, but Swampscott comes out with it, gained the blue line, stolen, here comes Costanzo, 3 on 2 Gloucester, shot, save Russo, pucks behind the net, and it comes outside the zone. Maroney with it over to Ashley. Over to Field. Field gains the blue line. Comes in. Field shot. Save. Russo. Rebound. Marshall couldn't get a full stick on it. Save. Russo off of Costanzo's stick. Nice hit there by Marshall. Field knocks it up. And Swampscott has control. Shots on goal, 7-0 Gloucester. And here comes Swampscott. Gain the blue line, shot, and that's their first shot on net. Save the chance. 5.40 left in the first period. 0-0 zero, zero tie. And tonight here at the Rinkers, KPA Youth Hockey Night. Marshall with it. Knocks it off the wall. And here comes Ryan Bergen. He's in all alone. Bergen. No. And the net comes off the uh, moorings. Bergen ran into the net. And it looks like Russo, the goaltender, might be injured. No, I guess not. So Bergen will take the face off. Abreu and Marshall are the other forwards. Off the face off and Gloucester keeps it in. Abreu couldn't connect. Bergen gets it back to Schuster. Schuster over to Freddy's. Abreu. Kicking it in, Schuster. Marshall. Puck goes in the Gloucester end. Schuster with it. Over to Ryan Bergen. Bergen makes a pass to Abreu. Abreu gives it back to Bergen. Marshall with it. He throws it in deep. The fishermen are on a line change. And here comes Swampskit. They throw it in deep. Vitans passes it up to O'Leary with a nice play. Here comes O'Leary. Banks it up the boards. Goes in the Swamp Scott zone. And no, we didn't gain the red line. They call it a nice. Wow. That two inches. <laughs> but good call by the ref. He didn't gain the red line, so it's a nice. Swamp 
So the first line is out there for the fishermen. Ashley with it. Takes it behind his own net. Gets it out of the zone, but it goes right to a swap Scott defender. Field over there. Swamp Scott takes over. Stolen by Field, but Swamp Scott steals it right back. They take it in the zone. Costanzo wings it around, kept in. Shot. Fanned on it. Here comes Field. Delaney going after it. Defenseman falls down. Delaney has a chance out front. Oh, they couldn't connect. The Freddies. He throws it in the corner over the field, out front, and they can't connect. The puck comes outside the zone. So Freddy's had to go all the way back and get it. Kept in. Shot goes wide. Delaney. And they're trying to get it out. He does. Field. And he had Costanzo, but he couldn't find him. Swampscott has control. Schuster. Offsides. Good call, ref. 3-10 left, first period, no score. Shots on goal. Gloucester has seven. Swampscott has one. Abreu. Freddy's with it. Freddy's. Nice move, Freddy's. Defenseman takes it in. Gets it back out to Schuster. Schuster throws it in the corner. Ryan Bergen hustling out front. Rebound goes wide. Marshall had a chance. Schuster keeps it in. Throws it in the corner. Abreu's there. Swamp's got in control now. Freddy's throws it back in. The fishermen touch up. In fact, they're changing lines. Two and a half minutes left first period. This is KPN Live. Field has it. Makes a nice pass, but no one can find it. Costanzo there. Costanzo with it. Ashley throws it in. Field with it. Out front, the Costanzo shot, save, Russo. 2.02 left, first period, no score. 8 to 1, the shot's on goal for Gloucester, in Gloucester's favor. Jim Capello on the camera, I'm Phil Castro, KPN Live. Your channel for high school sports. Puck comes to the near board, takes a funny bounce. And Gloucester couldn't take advantage, but here comes Swampskit. Connor Donovan. Shot goes high and wide. Number three for Swampskit. Puck goes behind the net. Costanzo takes it. He's got field with him. Shot goes out of play. Deflected out of play. We have a whistle, and the face-off will be in the Swamp Squad zone. With one and a half minutes left and a rapid first period. Second line comes out. April. Oh. Made a nice pass, but Freddy's couldn't keep it in. It goes back into the Swamp Scott zone. Big Blue has it. Bergen. The Schuster. The Freddies. To Abreu. Abreu knocks it in, but that's going to be ice. They didn't gain the red line. So the face-off will come all the way back down to the Gloucester end. 103 left first period. 
Masha with a nice play. He gets tripped. No call. We're under a minute in the first period. Schuster with it. Hands it off to Freddy's. To Bergen. Bergen can't control it. Abreu knocks it in behind the Swamp Scott net. 35 seconds left in the first period. Here comes Swampskit. Maroney. Costanzo goes after it. Costanzo with it. Trying to find field. Oh, the defenseman knocked it away. Ten seconds left in the first period. Ashley off the boards. Six seconds. Here comes Swampskin with an opportunity broken up. And that's the end of the first period. With the score, the big blue of Swamp Squad zero and the Galat the Fisherman zero. We'll be back with second period action in a few moments. The research here at St. Jude is very important. It gave my daughter a second chance at life. Because we have donors that believe in what we're doing, we can really move our research forward much faster. St. Jude is working to drive the overall survival rate for childhood cancer to 90% in the next decade. And we won't stop until no child dies from cancer. Because of you. Gracias a ti. Because of you. There is St. Jude. One-stop shopping saves time, money, and legwork. That's true for home contracting, too. For your next job, there's just one place to call. Keith Alves Contracting. From new cabinets to a new house, Keith Alves can do it all. We're experts at new home construction, remodeling, exterior and decks, bath and kitchen, and custom finished carpentry. So don't waste time and money. Let Keith manage your project, commercial or residential, from start to finish, with quality work that's built to last. Did you know that you don't have to go back to your dealer for factory scheduled service required by your warranty? It's true. At Cape Man Auto Body and Service Center in Essex, we offer the same quality factory scheduled services, often for considerably less. We keep your car safe and reliable with quality tires, brakes, shocks, exhaust, and wheel alignments. The next time your car needs service, turn to Cape Ann Auto Body and Service Center. One stop for all your auto needs. You've probably heard that a healthy smile helps promote a healthy heart. At Mina Dental Associates, excellent patient care always comes first. And now Mina Dental Associates is introducing a new dental savings plan, the Mina Dental Access Card. It works like a Warehouse Club membership. You get significantly reduced rates on dental services for one affordable annual membership fee. Take a look at what you can save. Want to find out more? Call Mina Dental Associates today at our Gloucester or Danvers offices and ask about the new Mina Dental Access Card dental savings plan. Your smile will thank you. All right, everybody, welcome back. Second period action, 0-0 zero, zero tie. If you look at the shots on goal, the Fishermen pretty much dominated that period, but they didn't score. You know, your fear in a game like this, the Swampscott's going to come down and take one shot and score. And then they'll fall behind, and then Swampscott gets the feeling they can win the game. So I think it's important for the Fishermen to get out to a lead in this game. We'll see what happens. All right, Costanzo in the first line is out there. Off the draw. Swamp Scott controls it. They gain the red line. They throw it in deep. Vatians with the save. Uh, that period, Connor Vatians only faced one shot. I mean, he probably had a submarine sandwich in that period. <laughs> Puck goes in the corner. Costanzo with it. Gets it out to Freddy's. Freddy's throws in the corner. Field with it. Field. To Costanzo. Costanzo shot. Goes wide. Swamp's going to try to get it out. They can't do it. Delaney keeps it in. And it's kept in. Field. Shot. Out front. Score! Number seven, Delaney. Jack Delaney gives the Fisherman a 1 0 lead. And I think it was important for that to happen. <laughs> 
So just 47 seconds into the second period, the fishermen come out with a goal. Second line is out there. Abreu, Abreu, Harry Marshall, and Ryan Bergen, Maroney. On defense with Jake Enos, number 14. Puck goes in the Swamp Scott zone. Yeah, Delaney got it. A uh, field with an assist. So one nothing Gloucester. Delaney from field. Bergen. Jake Enos up to Bergen. Bergen, nice pass to Abreu. Trying to find Marshall, but he can't. It's going to be an ice. And here comes the third line for Gloucester. O'Leary, Zach Morris, and Zach Abbott. Frades and Schuster on defense. Off the draw. Swamp Scott wins it. It goes right to Frades. Frades up to Zach Abbott, but he can't control it. Big Blue with it. They control it in the neutral zone. Uh, Frades banks it off the boards. Here comes Zach Abbott. Shot goes out of play. So the faceoff will be in the Swamp Scott zone. Morris will take it. Zach Morris. Off the face up, Morris wins it over to Zach Abbott. Goes behind the net, Zach Morris goes after it. The Zach brothers. <laughs> and here comes Swampskit. They get it out of the zone. They gain the red line. Offsides. Oh, come on. That was about a foot offsides. O'Leary with it for Glossa. He takes it out. Here comes O'Leary. Dan O'Leary. And, but Big Blue controls it. They gain the blue line. Shot. Save its hands. That's only the third shot on goal for Swamp Scott tonight. And Connor Batanz must feel like he's in a, a hot tub tonight. Nine to two. The shot's on goal. I think it's nine to three, I think. All right, the Fishermen get their first line back out there. Costanto. But Swamp's good trying to keep it in. They can't. Pass over to Ma, uh, to Field. Delaney's there. Field with it. No, we can't hang on to it. Costanzo banks it off the boards. And the big blue throw it in deep. Costanzo. Nice move there. Makes a nice pass, but Field can't control it. Swamp Scott knocks it back in. Ashley with it. Number 20, Ashley. Jack Ashley. Over to Delaney. Delaney. Nice pass over to Field. Field's got Costanzo going down the middle. See, couldn't find him. It was a shot on goal by Field. But here comes Swamp Scott. What a good hit by Costanzo. The lady gives it to Costanzo, but Costanzo takes it back. And they're after him now. Offsides. He got that one. And now we have uh, a fourth line out there. We got uh, White, Leverol, Leverolt. I hope I'm pronouncing this right. And Hale, number 23, is out there. So the Fishermen are going with the fourth line right now. Nick White, Leverolt, and Hale. Here comes White. 
Takes it out of the zone, gains the red line, throws it in, no ice. White goes after it. It's behind the net. Swampscott has it. They make a pass, they connect, they throw it in deep. Goes wide, Schuster there. White with it, can't get it out. Goes to Vatan, Schuster with it. Leverolt out there with Abreu. Jeremy Abreu. Swampskit gets it into the Gloucester zone. Goes behind the net. Freddy's there for the fisherman. And the puck goes into the Swampscott bench for a stoppage. 10 minutes, 11 seconds left, second period. 1 0 Gloucester on a goal by Jack Delaney. Jake Enos over there. Ryan Bergen, the puck goes back down behind the Gloucester net. Uh, uh, Tim Maroney's there. Maroney comes out with it. Gets it up to Bergen. Bergen makes a nice pass to Harry Marshall. He couldn't control it. And the puck goes in on Russo. And Russo ties it up. So Bergen, Marshall, and Jeremy Abreu is the forward line. And Frades and Schuster just came out to play defense. Abreu shot. Saved by Russo. Jack Russo for Swamskit. Freshman goaltender. Looks very comfortable in the net. Face off, Bergen. Goes to the other side. Swampscott has it. They make a pass at Freddy's. No, we can't keep it in. Bergen, what, what do we got? And do we have a penalty? Yes, it looks like Harry Marshall is going to go into the penalty box for a roughing penalty. And that will bring the face-off down to the Gloucester zone. Off the face-off. Swampscott has control. They're on the power play. Roughing. And Costanzo has the puck. He's on the penalty kill. Over the field. And field clears it. But Swampscott has control. Trying to set their power play up. Then they come in. Shot. Goes wide. Here comes Jack Costanzo. He's got plenty of room. He could beat that kid. Makes another beautiful move. And he can't get the puck. Field with it. Kept in by Freddy's. He throws it back into the corner. Field goes after it. The fisherman is short-handed. And Swamp Scott takes over. It goes to Schuster. Schuster over to Freddy's. Over to Costanzo. Costanzo over the field. Nice pass. Back to Costanzo. They can't connect. And here comes Swampska. Three on two. Costanzo in field. They're caught up ice. But they get back. Nice back check by Costanzo in field. And Swampska's having a hard time getting their power play set up. Now they do. Now they got it set up. Pass over to the side, out front, shot, score! They tie it up with a power play goal. Number three, Connor Donovan, the captain of the Swampska team. And he was all alone in front of the net. Not much Connor Vatians could have done about that one. 1-1 one, one tie. So with the 8-10 left in the second period, 1-1 one, one tie. Off the face-off. 
Maroney with it. Over to Ashley. Ashley to Marshall. And offsides, Swampskit. Face off will be in the neutral zone. Maroney over to Ashley. Ashley makes a nice pass. Abreu with it. Shot. Score! Jeremy Abreu with an assist from Ryan Bergen. And the Fishermen take the lead right back. That was big. I think Ryan Bergen will get an assist. We'll see what the announcement is, if I can hear it. April with it. Makes a nice pass to Marshall. Marshall gets knocked off the puck. Bergen to Marshall. He kept that same line out there. After the point, Maroney can't keep it in. And the fishermen were off sides. So it was the goal was uh, by Jeremy Abreu uh, and assist by Ryan Bergen. The fishermen take the lead right back, two to one. Here comes Swampski. They win the faceoff. Three on two. Puck goes behind the cloth and that Frady's with it. Zach Abbott can't control it. Swampski knocks it back in. Goes in the far corner. Schuster there. Swampski comes out with it. Comes up high. That came out of the zone, but no. Referee didn't think so. Goes out front. Goes in the corner. Swampska has the puck. They got their best line out there right now. Goes behind the net. Schuster there. Schuster makes a nice play. Gives it to O'Leary. O'Leary gets it out of the zone. Gains the red line. Gains the blue line. Kept in. Oh, no. Morris had a... Swampska takes it right away. They gain the blue line. Zach Abbott steals it and comes out of the zone. Goes back in. Swampscott touches up. Frady's with it. Frady's makes a pass, but they can't connect it, so it's going to be an ice. 6 2 left, second period. 2-1 to one Gloucester. Shots on goal. Gloucester leads it 12-4. And you would like to see Gloucester score another goal or two here. Just to feel comfortable. But they can't. They've got to keep playing this team. Shot deflected. Shot off the side of the net. Delaney. No, Costanzo has it. Jake Enos with it. Over to Maroney. Maroney. And... Costanzo, no field, can't get it. The puck's being bopped around. Costanzo steals it. He's in all alone. Shot saved by Russo. Jack Russo of Swampscott makes a big save. And here comes Swampscott, 2-1-2. Two -two. Shot saved, Carnivitz hands. Five sixteen left, second period. And this has been a rapidly paced game. Hardly any whistles. Face off. Swamp Scott keeps it in. Puck goes to the other side. Ryan Bergen over to Harry Marshall. Marshall shot goes off the backboards. And Russo ties it up behind the draping of the net. 
I'm Phil Nicastro, Jim Capillo on the camera, KPN Live. Your station for high school sports on the North Shore. Bergen on the faceoff. Marshall is out there with a Brewer Brew off the side of the net again. And Musso does the same thing. He ties it up. A Brew wins the faceoff back to Marshall. Marshall has it. Throws it behind the net to Ryan Bergen. Comes up high. Schuster keeps it in with a nice play. Bergen knocks it back in deep. Bergen has it. Out front to Abreu. Shot goes wide. And it comes out of play. And there's a happy fan. And the kid is looking for it. <laughs> he, and he can't find it. He's bumming. <laughs> his last name is Genovese. It says it on the back of his shirt. So Costanzo's out there with Zach Morris. And Ashley. Ashley is playing a forward position now. And here comes Swampskit. Look out. It's Donovan. He's their best. Shot. Save. Donovan has the goal, the goal for Swampskit. But a new line being put together here for Gloucester. He's got Ashley playing forward. With Costanzo and Morris. Zach Morris. Ashley with it. Trying to get it out. They can't. Look out. Maroney up to field. Gives it to Costanzo with a nice pass. Here comes Jack. Shot wide. Zach Morris keeps it in. It goes to field. Shot off the side of the net. Field battling in there. Zach Morris behind the net. But here comes Swamskit. Three and a half minutes left, second period. Swamska takes it round. Out front. Donovan's there, number three. He's their best player, Donovan. Here comes Freddy's over to Marshall. Marshall. And here comes Swamska, three on one. But they can't connect. No ice. Schuster back behind the net. Schuster with it. Abreu. Abreu. Nice pass up to Marshall. Oh, he can't hold on to it. They had something going there, but they couldn't hang on. Frady's with it. Marshall. Over to Ryan Bergen. Bergen gets out of the zone. Yeah, but Swampscott knocks it right back in. Frady's with it. Frady's. Nice pass to Bergen. He's got Marshall with him. And he can't get it to him, but he hangs on to it. Marshall in the corner, fighting for it. So he Bergen out front. Costanzo's there, but he can't get it. And here comes Swampskit. They throw it in. John Vitans, he kicks it to the side. Ashley, Jack Ashley. Nice pass, field to Costanzo. He's got Delaney with him. Costanzo, score! What a shot by Jack Costanzo. He picked the corner on that one, a three to one fisherman. With 148 left in the second period. That was a beautiful shot by Jack Costanzo. He picked the top corner. And Russo, the goalie for Swampscott, had no chance on that one. Swampscott wins the faceoff. They have control. And they fan on it. Delaney's in there for checking. 
But Swarmska gets it out. They throw it in deep. Swarmska, Donovan, shot it wide. Out front, here comes Costanzo again. He's got Delaney with him, but Costanzo, the defenseman, falls down. Shot, oh, he tried the same shot again, but he had a, he should have made a pass on that one. Schuster keeps it in, finds Costanzo behind the net. Oh, the, the Delaney, Delaney couldn't get it. We're down to a minute left in the second period. Costanzo with it. Another pretty move by Costanzo, another one. The kids got moves in a telephone booth. Frady's over to Schuster. Schuster shoots it. Save. Rebound. Field couldn't get it. Here comes Swampskit. A half a minute left. Second period. Oh, look out. Donovan with it. Nice pass. Shot. Blocked. Tied up by the goaltender corner of its hands. 30 seconds exactly left. And Jack Costanzo can stick it on a telephone booth. Face off in the Gloucester zone. Back to Swan back to the point. Deflected. Fisherman have it. Uh oh, look out. Swampska has it in front. Shot goes wide. Schuster goes in the corner. Out front. Save. Swampska has it. Uh oh, look out. Shot goes wide. Swampska playing much better this period, but they trail it three to one. Four seconds, three, two, one, and the Fisherman will take a three to one lead at the end of two. I'm Phil Nicasio, Jim Capillo on the camera. We'll be back for third period action in a few moments. know what to do if you're stuck on the railroad crossing? Get out of your vehicle. If a train is not approaching, find the blue and white emergency notification system sign on the traffic signs at the crossing. For help, call the number on the sign and give them the crossing number so they know your location and can alert train traffic. Remember, find the blue and white to save your life. Looking for a shop to fix your car's collision damage? Gloucester Auto Body has over 30 years of experience going on three generations in the business. A state-of-the-art laser measuring system assures 100% correction on unibody frames. And EnviroBase high-performance paint is environmentally friendly and color matching is precise. We're not just collision repair. Gloucester Auto Body is a full-service repair facility. So trust your car to Corrado and Paul at Gloucester Auto Body. One-stop shopping saves time, money, and legwork. That's true for home contracting, too. For your next job, there's just one place to call. Keith Alves Contracting. From new cabinets to a new house, Keith Alves can do it all. We're experts at new home construction, remodeling, exterior and decks, bath and kitchen, and custom finished carpentry. So don't waste time and money. Let Keith manage your project, commercial or residential, from start to finish, with quality work that's built to last. You've probably heard that a healthy smile helps promote a healthy heart. At Mina Dental Associates, excellent patient care always comes first. And now Mina Dental Associates is introducing a new dental savings plan, the Mina Dental Access Card. It works like a warehouse club membership. You get significantly reduced rates on dental services for one affordable annual membership fee. Take a look at what you can save. Want to find out more? Call Mina Dental Associates today at our Gloucester or Danvers offices and ask about the new Mina Dental Access Card dental savings plan. Your smile will thank you. Did you know that you don't have to go back to your dealer for factory scheduled service required by your warranty? It's true. At Cape Man Auto Body and Service Center in Essex, we offer the same quality factory scheduled services, often for considerably less. We keep your car safe and reliable with quality tires, brakes, shocks, exhaust, and wheel alignments. The next time your car needs service, turn to Cape Ann Auto Body and Service Center. One stop for all your auto needs. All right, everybody, welcome back. I'm Phil Nicastro. 
Jim Capello on the camera tonight. And while I got a couple of minutes here, I want to give a shout out to Pete Kelly. I know you're listening, Pete, in Florida, because Jack Pelazola is here watching the game, and he told me to say hello to you. <laughs> I want to see your name pop up on my phone, Pete. Where you been? Lost the leads at 3-1. to one. Jeremy Abreu with a goal. Jack Delaney with the goal. And... Uh, Jack Costanzo with a goal. Donovan with the goal for Swampskit. Connor Donovan. Shots on goal, 15-9. Fisherman. Swampskit catching up in that uh, in that department, the shots department. So, Pete Kelly, I want to see your name on my phone. <laughs> All right, third period action. Here comes Swampskit. Shot. Save its hands. He ties it up. Good. So the face-off will be in the Gloucester end. Gloucester has their first line out there. Back to the point. Swampskill with a shot. Save its hands. And we got a hand pass. They're going to let Swampskill touch it. Oh. That should not have been a whistle. But let's see what's happening. The face-off is going down on the Swampskill end. Oh, well, we'll take it. Okay. Fisherman get a break there. Off the floor. Costanzo wins it. Schuster over to Freddy's. Freddy's with a wrist shot. Hit the post. Out front. And Delaney couldn't handle it. Here comes Swampskit. It's Donovan. Number three. The little speedster. Shot. Save its hands. The big blue has it. Back to the point. Shot. Save its hands. Rebound. Oh, that was a quick whistle. If I was Swamp's good, I'd be upset. And Swamp's good is rapidly catching up on the shots on goal department. Off the face-off, Jeremy Abreu. Swampscott throws it back in. Abreu gets it into the corner. Back up high to the point. Save its hands. Harry Marshall with it. And Bergen gets it out. Ryan Bergen steals it. And he can't control it. Maroney up to Marshall. Marshall can't control it, but he goes after it. Jeremy Abreu with it. Slap shot. Save Russo. Jack Russo, the Swamp Scott goaltender, just a freshman. And he don't look out of place at all. Zach Morris, Danny O'Leary. Zach Abbott is out there. That's the forwards. Here comes Swampskit. Save its hands. Shots on goal, 17-13. You can't find him. He's... Off the face up, it's in the corner. Costanzo comes out with it. He's got plenty of room. Makes a pass to Delaney. Delaney gains the blue line. Takes it around the net, out front. Off the post! Rebound score! Jack Costanzo! Delaney made his original pass, was the field. Field took a shot, hit the post. It came right out to Costanzo, and Costanzo knocks it home. 4-1 to one Gloucester. So let's see who gets an assist on that goal. Fields should. 
And I think you should give one to Delaney as well. The goal will go to Costanzo. The original shot was by Field that hit the post. That came right out to Costanzo when he knocked it home. Puck goes in the, the Swamp's good end. Field knocks it in. Costanzo with it again. Shot. Gets blocked. Here comes Swampskit. Oliveri goes in on Vitans. Frady's with it. Delaney. Field with it. Yep. Okay. Give an assist to Field and Delaney. That line is still out there. Field with a nice play with his hand. Nice pass to Delaney, but he couldn't control it. Beautiful setup. Out front to Costanzo. Goes wide. The field can't get it. Number five is out there. Derek Elms, his name is on the back of his jersey. I don't know why. He's the only player that doesn't have his name. And we had a high stick. Four to one, Gloucester. And it was a high stick, was on Gloucester, so. So the face-off will be in the Gloucester end. Frady's with it behind the net with a nice move. Here comes Frady's. O'Leary's out there. O'Leary gets it out of the zone. And he gets knocked down. Here comes Swampskit. Morris with a nice play. Zach Morris. Good play there. Knocks it in. No ice. And O'Leary takes a wipeout. Gets back up on his feet. Zach Abbott keeps it in. But Swampskit gets it out. Frady's with it over to Schuster. Nice play by Schuster. Gets it out of the zone, but Swampscott knocks it back in. Vitans makes a pass. And kept in by the big blue. Frady's with it. Abreu, Jeremy Abreu. Nice pass there to Harry Marshall. Marshall on the move. Oh, he gets knocked off the puck. Ryan Bergen is out there. He takes a hit. Here comes Swampskit. Callahan, number 15. Derek uh, Elms over there, number five. Derek Elms. Jeremy Abreu with it. And here comes Ryan Bergen. Gets broken up. Elms with it. Field to Costanzo, and he gets broken up. And we got a penalty coming up. Is it on Swampskit, number 23? No, it's on Gloucester. Costanzo will go to the penalty box for an elbow. The shots on goal at 18 to 14 now. And to Swampscott's credit, they caught up in that department. So the penalty killers are Delaney, Schuster, Field, and Frades. So Swampscott has their best line out there. Donovan, Oliveri. Ron and Locke. Back to the point. There's the elbow on Costanzo. Fisherman is shorthanded. Look out. Swamp's going to try to set their power play. Out front. No one's there. 
Behind the net. Tried to stuff it. Almost did. Fitzhands with a big save there. Here comes Schuster. And he gets it out of there. No, he keeps it out. But Delaney falls down. Delaney got it out of the zone, but he couldn't quite keep his balance. Delaney has it. Throws it in. Fisher been around a line change. Here comes a brew. And Jeremy Abreu doing some good forechecking. Ryan Bergen's out there. Tim Maroney is out there. Donovan comes in with a nice play. Save its hands. Connor Donovan, a good little skater. 9.08 left in the game. 4-1 to Gloucester. 48 seconds left on the Swampscott power play. Off the faceoff. Bergen gets it out with a nice play. Harry Marshall gets it back to Maroney over to Ashley. Throws it in. Ryan Bergen goes over the far side, keeps it in. The fisherman is still killing the penalty. Swampscott still has 30 seconds left, but they can't control it. Here comes the big blue. 20 seconds remaining, and Field breaks it up with a nice play. E.J. Field throws it in behind the net, killing valuable time. Marshall back there. Harry Marshall playing pretty well for his first game back. And Swapscott comes out with it. Penalty is over. Good penalty killing by the fisherman. Swapscott with it. Shot goes wide. Costanzo. Field, field gets it out. And Swampscott throws it right back in. And Vitians was surprised by that one. Delaney. Pass to Costanzo. He's got field with him and he couldn't control it. But it goes in deep. And Swampscott comes out with it. Schuster with it. Over to Freddy's. To Delaney. And it goes back into the Swamp Scott zone. Shots on goal have been stuck at 18 14 for the past couple of minutes. Behind the net to Costanzo. And here comes Swampskit. Three on three. It goes in deep. Freddy's number 21. Out front, look out. Shot blocked. Broken up, and it comes outside the zone. Swamp's got with it. They're going to touch up. Seven minutes left. Leverwald is out there, number 17. Jason Leverwald. Here comes Costanzo. He's got Leverwald with him and White. Nick White with him. Rebound save, Russo. So Nick White is out there, number 13. Another freshman for Gloucester. Boy, this team is loaded with underclassmen. Jeremy Abreu on the faceoff. Jake Enos is out there, number 14. Ryan Bergen. Marshall. And Tim Maroney. That's the line for Gloucester. Enos keeps it in. But Swampscott controls it. They get it out. They gain the red line. Maroney behind his own net. Yeah, Swampscott gets it back in on uh, corner of the hands. Jake Enos with it. Throws it up. To the, oh, he, he had Ryan Bergen open, but they couldn't get the puck to him. Marshall for checking. Donovan with it, number three. But broken up with a nice play by Tim Maroney. Gives it to White, to Marshall. Shot, save, Russo. So Nick White getting some ice time tonight, along with Leverolt and Jake Enos.
Hayden Hill going to shift tonight. Puck goes behind the net. Here comes Swampskit. They get it out. But the puck is in a neutral zone. Leverall with it. White has it over to Leverall. Here comes Leverall. Hale is out there. Hayden Hale with White and Leverall. That's the line. Kept in by Schuster. Frady's. Frady's with a nice move. Gives it to Leverall. Banks it off the boards. White goes after it, but Swamp Scott knocks it back in. They're offside, so they're going to touch up. Schuster gets it out to the neutral zone. O'Leary comes out with, Mo with Zach Morris and Zach Abbott. Swamp Scott has it in their own end. Four and a half minutes left in the game. Four to one Gloucester. And Swampscott throws it in deep. Frady's has it. Morris after it. O'Leary. O'Leary, Morris, and Abbott are the line, the forward line. Maroney over to Elms. O'Leary with it. And Swampscott has control. And they throw it in deep. Derek Elms in front. Look out. Elms gets it back. Short is blocked. Field with it. And he gives it to Costanza. Oh, he would have had him all alone. And they're going to call it icing. Field didn't gain the red line, and I'm not so sure about that. And Field is pleading his case with the referee. I don't blame him. But they called an ice, so. 3.26 left in the game. 4-1 to one Gloucester. The Fishermen looking for their fourth straight win. Off the faceoff. And Field gets it out. But Swamp Scott knocks it right back in. Schuster with it. This has been a rapidly, rapid pace game. Having any whistles. Here comes Costanzo. Shot goes wide. Delaney with it. Costanzo with it. He's got Field. Score! EJ Field. Makes it 5 to 1, Fisherman with exactly three minutes left in the game. So Field with the goal, Costanzo with the assist, five to one Glosser. Three minutes remaining. And the Fishermen are gonna win their fourth straight. They throw it in deep. Swamp's good. Shot. Save for Tids. Costanzo with an assist. They get it out of the zone. Abreu over to Bergen. Shot. Save Russo. The fishermen are gaining more and more confidence as each game goes by. This is still a young team. And here comes Donovan for Swampskit. Look out. And he gets hooked. That's Ashley. Are they going to call a penalty shot? No. Hook and penalty. Yeah. Could have been a penalty shot. So Ashley, number 20 for Gloucester. Jack Ashley will go in the box for a hook. You could have made an argument for a penalty shot. A 
All right, off the faceoff. Zach Morris is out there. O'Leary is out there. They clear it. Nice play by O'Leary. Danny O'Leary, he's had a strong game today. Two minutes left in the game. 147 on the power play for Swampskit. Here comes Donovan, number three. Waiting for his line mates. Makes a nice pass. And they throw it in the corner. Frades gets it to O'Leary. Can't get it out. Swampskit shot goes wide. They keep it in. They get it down low. They come out to the middle with it. Good pass. Shot goes wide. That was a nice setup there for the big blue. Puck goes behind the Gloucester net. Out front. Wide open is a D. Nice move. Gets it out front. Goes behind the net. And it's broken up by Zach. Uh, what do we got? A high stick. There's a little over one minute to play. Another penalty coming up on Gloucester. And Frady's number 21. Ryan Frady's will go to the penalty box. Swampscott has a two-man advantage, but there's only one minute left in the game. 103 to be exact. So Costanzo will come out and try to kill the penalty. There's a nice job there by Costanzo. He makes a nice move. And he can't get in there. High stick and penalty on Freddy's. But the Fishermen are going to win their fourth in a row. They're going to swamp scale with a two man advantage right now. Marshall is out there. Swamp scale comes out with it out front. And the net came loose. Just 36 seconds left in the game. The Fishermen are going to go over the 500 mark. They'll go to 4 3 and 2 on the season. The next time the Fishermen play will be Saturday afternoon at Salem State University against Marblehead at 1 o'clock. Off the draw. Jeremy Abreu can't get it out. Swamps get with it. They get a two man advantage. Back down low. He falls down, get, gets his balance. Fifteen seconds left. And Swamps got Donovan. Shot saved the hands. Ties it up. Seven and a half seconds left in the game. So, like I said, the next game the Fishman will play will be at Salem State University Saturday afternoon, 1 o'clock, against Marblehead. Off the faceoff. Swamp Scott wins it. Maroney gets it out of there. And off, out front. And that's the ball game. Oh, a little pushing and shoving after the game here. But the Fishermen win it. By a score of five to one. <laughs> there you see the fishermen celebrating their win. We'll line up and shake hands. I want to thank Jim Capillo for his time tonight. And as you see, here come the fishermen now to shake hands. Okay, so Gloucester will play next Saturday afternoon at Salem State University against Malmahead at 1 o'clock. I'm Phil Castro. Until next time, for Gloucester High School Hockey. Good night, everybody.